One of the big questions in using an iPad is how do I load and manage files, especially in PDF Expert where you get all of these options. One of the biggest ways to do it is actually just to use your email. Anytime somebody sends you a PDF, you can open it in your email and view it, but you can't edit that form. So in order to edit it, you'll open it in another application. PDF, PDF Expert is going to be the best way to do that. It'll load it within the application and open it automatically. And then you can go about entering in all of the fields of data that are within the PDF form itself. Once again, you can use PDF Expert in order to fill out a form, but also annotate that form. So if you have questions about an individual piece of that, or if you'd like to make comments, all of those things are going to be really easily done. Both making figures, circling things, highlighting them. Those kinds of pieces are going to allow you to further differentiate a document rather than just filling it out as text. Now let's take a look at another way that we can load something. A lot of times we will receive it as a link. So we'll open it up in Safari. We may get our Course for Presidents link to learning links and we'll need to open up one of the documents that's in there. Usually it's going to be the participant guide or something like that. But if I click on the participant guide, once it downloads, once again, I can only view it from the browser, which is Safari. So in order to annotate it, take notes on it, I need to open it in the PDF expert. When I open it, once again, it, it'll open it all the way and I can see all 64 pages if I'd like to do so. This is the first page I hand to the left here, um, just using my finger to drag it across, and then I can start my annotation, my highlighting, as well as writing directly on top of it. You'll notice that I'm using a highlighter, but I can actually use a pen as well in order to make sure um, that I'm using the right tool for the right job. As I go through the other pages of Course for Presidents, I can play around with all of the different ways that I can take notes and annotate the document. In the same way that I would do so on paper, I can use lots of different colors, I can change the, uh, the format, but I can do things that I can't do on paper. One of which is adding notes that are embedded directly within the PDF. So let's say that I don't really want it to be on top of the document, but I do want to be able to see that. I can add that notation directly within that page and it'll stay there. If I want to do some things that maybe are a little less sloppy, um, I can actually highlight the text directly without using a highlighting pen there. I can also do the same thing with underlining um, as well as doing the strike through as well. So as long as I accept that change, then I can go ahead and create some more annotations. Now I can write directly onto the document. Um, the ability for you to sort of manipulate on top of what's already there is going to allow you the flexibility just the way that you would use on paper, but then you can also go back and edit those individual pieces. I can call attention once again, um, just simply using arrows, but then I can also manipulate each one of the things that I've added. So I am adding right here this piece of text, but then if I want to then move it, I can do so or edit it or I can delete it entirely. The idea being that I'm manipulating what I have added to it and it always is mine. Now, if I want to come back to a particular part, especially as a part of a long PDF, I want to create a new bookmark. I can actually create a, a number of different bookmarks so that at any point, if I want to go back to where I bookmarked for communication, I can do that. Now, I can look at all of the pages all at once. If I want to do a quick scan, oh, there's a place for notes, so I'm going to use that. Now, because I can type directly on there, I don't have to worry about my handwriting or anything like that. I can change the, uh, the color of my text, and then I can simply write it out. So I'm saying, you know, this, uh, is, this course is helping me, but I can't wait until I get to the more meaty sections. And I can leave those notes in there, and then I can go back after we've gone to those sections and edit those notes making sure that I'm sort of updating it as we go so that you have this digital copy that not only do you have, but that you can also share with others. Now that I've done my note taking, um, we're on a break for course for presidents, I'd like to put my, uh, my PDF file into a folder. So I'm gonna move it 
into the course for presidents folder and then I'm gonna go and grab another one a lot of times I want to take notes on the slide handout so this has been provided for me in as a digital copy all I have to do once again is open it in my PDF expert and then once it's open once I've taken it into PDF expert then I can do all of the same kinds of annotations one of my favorite things is the ability to mix both the text that I'm writing out as well as the ability to draw so the ability to have very precise text as well as the ability to draw to um, diagram and add lots of different annotations now let's say that as I'm annotating, as I'm going through, I realize this section right here applies to something in another document. I can use the recent documents up in the top there to switch back and forth between documents that have relationship with one another. So I can go back and forth simply loading them up, taking notes in one, going back to the other one, and any time that I want to do that I can do so. Now I'm going to categorize that document once again in course for presidents and let's take a look at a couple of other ways to get documents in here one is to connect directly to my computer if I forgot a file or something like that I can log into my computer pull up any one of my directories on my computer download that document directly to PDF expert and then start working with it this is a presentation that we made into a PDF and then I can annotate it put notes on it and send it out to people for review other ways that you can get files in here you can access them from Google Docs simply allow that access and it'll give you that as a favorite server you can also do a login to Dropbox where you just allow that access once again and any of the file folders within Dropbox are now available to you all you have to do is open it up pull in that PDF and it becomes an annotatable note-taking device